expecting this. Hey, welcome to our Dream Builders Business Building Talk. I'm excited to have you join us. Thank you. And Sabrina shared a very cool resource with me from Grow Workspace. So I am going to share the presentation with you because as I was going through this, I learned some things that I thought would be helpful for you. And, you know, definitely helpful for me. Now, let me see here how I get to full screen. There it is. Okay, so this is a, a PDF. All right. Well, the first most important thing in a Young Living business is knowing your why. And if you went through boot camp, then you're pretty familiar with your why. And your why may change over time. Um, you know, it could be earning money. It could be um, getting some financial security and uh, residual income that you can pass on to your children. It might be having more freedom and working for yourself. It might be uh, living a healthier life and sharing that healthy living with other people. That's what's important to me. It might be helping the environment to be healthier. Because if we're using less toxins on ourselves, then that's going to be less toxins going into the environment. Um, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on that because we've discussed this in other meetings. But that's some super important to keep front and center for you, you know, to help keep you encouraged whenever things get challenging. And, you know, preferably make a vision board of it. You know, what it is that you want as a result of your lo Young Living business. Not just the rank that you want to have, but when you have the rank, what will it allow you to do? You know, will you be able to take your dream vacation to um, Cancun, for example, or to Europe, or pay off some debt? Um, okay. All right. The income disclosure. And if you have questions at any time, you know, just stop me and, and ask. I'm going to try and move this bar out of the way. I don't know if it's showing up on your screen or not. Okay, the income disclosure. Um, looking over here to the right, the average income for each of the levels. You know, starting with star, 77, senior star, 240, executive, 514, and silver, 2200. And so far, we have three silvers on our team. So I think that's pretty cool. And a bunch of executives and even more senior stars and stars. So Young Living is a way to make some really good money. Now, the paycheck options. This is what I learned that is new. When you have an order of 50 PV, which is point value, which is about $50 in quick order or essential rewards, and you sign someone up with a premium starter kit, you get a $25 check with a start living bonus. You also get a fast start bonus, which is 25% of the PV for the first three months. The premium starter kits um, are sold for 160, most of them, but the PV on the premium starter kits is 100 because Young Living has deeply discounted those to make them very affordable for our new members. So it's 100 PV total. So you get $25 with the start living bonus and $25 with the fast start bonus. Um, you actually get 25% of whatever your new member orders for the first three months. And you get that with an order of only 50 PV. That's what I did not know. Um, I always thought that you had to have 100 PV to get any check. Well, having a 100 PV order every month is a better way to go so you don't miss out on some of your commissions. 
but if you have a new builder who is really tight on money, um, you know, as long as they order 50 on quick order or essential reward um, in any month where they sell a premium starter kit, then they are going to get their $50 check. Excuse so, me, Karen, is, is that a, a changed rule, a new rule? No, it's not changed. I decided to go back and look at the example in virtual office from Young Living. And after I watched it another two times, I realized it does say that. It, <laughs> I've watched that video a number of times. Um, it, it does say it, it just wasn't as clear as this diagram. Because I, I think, and Betsy might be able to confirm this, but I think when she first signed up somebody under her, she didn't have the 100 PV. She had the 50 PV, and she didn't get any commission. Uh-huh. Um, did she sign the person up with a basic starter kit or the premium starter kit? The premium starter kit. Mm -hmm. Now that does say and, it says quick orders and essential. Does that mean 50 of each? No. No, that's 50 of either one, a quick order or essential rewards. However, it's always so much better for business builders to place their orders through essential rewards. You know, so okay. that you are learning about the products and experiencing them yourself. You know, because how can you recommend stuff if you haven't tried it? You know, Beverly, you can check in your virtual office. You can go back and check your, uh, you know, or just click when that person signed up and then go back and look to see if you got a commission check under account. Yeah, and yeah you, I'll, I'll get with Betsy and, and have her do that. Yeah, and if, if, I mean, you can contact them if you didn't, but there's probably something. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. And I can log into my account and, and show you that where you find it. Okay. My account. And then you go to commissions right here and you can click on it and it's going to show you you know what you got from the fast start bonus the unilevel bonus you know and then the other bonuses and then these bonuses down here generation leadership bonus that's something that you get at the silver level right i i know i do that whenever i uh, I verify my commissions each month, but um, we'll have to go back and look at when she first signed up the other Betsy under her. Uh -huh. See what was going on, because I think she was essential rewards, which would have meant that she did 50 points. Uh huh. Yeah, well, you can go back and look at your orders also. They were right there, right above the commissions. Right, right. I'll, I'll get with her and, and work on that. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So 50 PV to get the start living bonus and the fast start bonus, preferably in essential rewards. Um, down here, the retailer earnings. If you sign somebody up with a retail account, you get the 24% difference between retail and wholesale. Generally, um, we don't recommend that. Sarah Harnish doesn't recommend that. We want people to be working towards an oily lifestyle, not buying one product, you know, here, or one product there every six months. Um, and then over here with 100 PV, you can see, um, of course, you've already gotten a start living bonus, the fast start bonus, and any retail earnings to get Unilevel commissions. Um, Unilevel is a, the percentage and this kicks in after the first three months, I believe. And 
our um, commission's experts, uh, Karen and Sabrina. Is that correct? Right, after three months, then you start getting 8% at level one, 5% at level two, 4% at level three. Well, four and five once you go up and rank a little bit. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Oh, I've missed something over here. The second level enroller receives 10% up to $80 per new member. So um, if you enroll someone and then they turn around and enroll somebody, you get 10% on whatever that new member orders for the first three months. That's why, here's just a quick strategy. <clears throat> um, oh, you guys, have you signed your spouse up if you have one? You know, you can sign your spouse up now under you, which I think you're crazy if you don't, because then you can build under that person. And uh, my son is in my organization. You can sign your kids up as soon as they turn 16. And so if I've got somebody that's going to sign up, a lot of times I'll throw them to my son and have my son sign them up because then he gets 25% and I get 10. And that's so, a sweet deal. It's, 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 um, I'm still paying for his college and everything. It's kind of like keeping it all in the family. So, I mean, that's another strategy. And if you had your spouse, which a lot of people who are building the business do as soon as August 1st popped up, they signed their spouse up so that um, you can get double things that are limited to one per person and you can get two incomes. You're crazy if you don't do it. I think that's just my two cents. If I had a spouse, which is not worth it for me, but if you have <laughs> That's if, what I was wondering, Karen. I'm not going yeah, to get married. I'm not going to get one just to have a, you know, two incomes, you know, um, like double the income, but, hmm. but if you've already got one, might as well make use of him. <laughs> okay. That was, that was, I funny. forgot your recording. Sorry. That didn't sound very professional, but okay. it's true. Double the income. I mean, I think I, you're nuts if you don't do it. All right. I thought that was pretty funny. All right. Um, okay. The retail versus member. Okay, the retail member just gets to order the Young Living products, but the members get 24% off. A big discount on the premium starter kit. They um, can sign up for essential rewards, they can sign up other people, and they can receive a paycheck. Okay, wait a minute. Now, why am I seeing this again? Um, hmm. Okay, it looks like the same thing. All right, so here's the fast start bonus broken down on the $160 kit, 100 PV. You get $25 for the fast start bonus, 25 for the, um, it should be start living bonus, and that's a total of 50. Now, if they add some extra products like Ninja Red to their order, then you're gonna get 25% of that. So here's this, Example on the right, 25% of the extra product PV, 18.25. So now your paycheck is 68.25 instead of 50. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Then after three months, the unit level commissions um, depend on what rank you are. Um, at the distributor level um, with 100 PV order, you get 8% on people that are directly underneath you and 5% on people that are underneath your first level people. At the star level, you get paid three levels down, eight, five, and four, and that's an OGV of $500. What's OGV? That's your organizational volume or the sum total of everything that um, is sold in, in your downline. Okay, senior star um, with 100 PV order and a volume of $2,000 total in your organizational volume, you get paid 8%, five, four, and four. Um, so four levels down, you know, so say, Sally signs up Jane, who signs up her mom, Sue, who signs up um, the Joy. So you get paid more levels down. And then executive, um, 
it's an organization, a volume of 4,000, two legs of 1,000, which means two teams, you know, where you're building deep. And we'll show you that in a minute. And you get paid five levels down. And over here, it mentions the Rising Star Team Bonus. Okay, we'll talk about that a little later. So here's an example of you know, strategic placement, you, and here's your two teams, uh, Kim and Jane, and under Jane is Pat and Sue. And um, these might be people that Jane signed up, or they might be people that you placed under Jane to start building a team under her. And when you get to the point where, you know, you've got, say, um, 10 people on your first level that you have enrolled, um, it's time to start thinking about building your teams and um, your enroller can help you with that um, or I can help you with that just reach out and ask because how you structure your business is so important I did not know that um, from 1999 until 2015 I put everybody on my first level and you will never go anywhere if you do that any questions about that Okay. All right. So this says work smarter, not harder. Dedicate at least an hour a day to your Young Living business. Um, well, that's one option. Or it might be, you know, two hours a week, or it might be more, or it might be less, depending on, you know, what you're doing and what your goals are. Um, Sarah Harnish has laid out pretty clearly for us that if you would like to get to silver in six months, um, teaching four to six classes a month is the way to do it. If you are teaching less, you know, you can still get there. It's just going to be slower. So that's up to you. And there are tax deductions for having a young living business. Um, you can check with your accountant to see what you can deduct. You may be able to deduct your premium starter kit, products you give away as samples. Now, the simpler way to do that is to take a percentage of what you purchase and count that as samples because you probably don't want to count the amount of drops that you gave or the Ninja Red sample that you gave out. That is too tedious. So I've heard people take anywhere from 25% of what they purchase to 75%. So that would be something for you to consider what seems reasonable based on you and your business at this time and talk with your accountant about it. Do any of you have anything you'd like to throw out? You know, like what percentage do you take? Um, I've heard people say that uh, their CPA was fine with taking a hundred dollars because you have to place a hundred dollar order in order to get your commissions. So that's what I tell my CPA I, I, at least a hundred dollars a month because that's what I have to place to get my commission check. Uh huh. Okay. That's good. Anybody else have any input on that? Okay. Um, when I went to a presentation on tax deductions at beauty school, a Crown Diamond said that she writes off 75% of what she orders. Um, you know, I currently write off 40%. That seemed reasonable for me, and I've been through an audit, and I would prefer not to get audited. Um, okay, having a work computer, a phone, I deduct my phone, um, website, is deductible, office supplies, mileage, you know, to and from your classes, uh, your convention ticket, any subscription services that you have, um, or books that you buy. All of that is deductible. And it's a good idea to have a separate business checking account or, you know, just separate account that you run all of your 
income and expenses through for your business, as well as a separate business credit card. It makes it a lot easier to keep track. Okay, all right, how do I know if I'd be good at this business? Okay, well, Sarah Harnish goes into that. Now I wanna to go to another presentation that I have. Here's a handout that came with this presentation that I've already posted in the business Facebook page. And IPAs for beginners, that stands for what? Income producing activities. That's right. I don't know why they put it in lingo rather than <laughs> just tell us what it is. But I thought this is a pretty nice handout to give to a brand new business builder. As Sarah Harnish said, giving them the game plan book right in the beginning is really overwhelming. It's too much. But this handout is um, simple. And it's meant to be as a handout so I can share this. I mean, I bought this whole class on Grow Workspace for $8. Um, so I can't post the um, what I just showed you, but I can post this handout because that, that's what it's meant for. So a few examples. Um, help others order a premium starter kit with your member number. We're going to get a video on how to sign somebody up on that um, um, starter kit video for the um, the Dream Builders YouTube channel, you know, so it'll be right there in case they want to sign somebody up. Okay, help your new members join Essential Rewards or place a quick order. Um, you know, preferably Essential Rewards, but you know, if they're not ready to do that, a quick order would be good. They need to know how to log into their account and where to find things. So having a little time to go over the virtual office with them after they sign up, you know, maybe take 15 minutes and give them a tour could be really, really helpful. Um, Okay, share and inspire your members to say yes to the business opportunity. Hey, Sarah, Sarah Harnish's Game Plan Mini is a perfect prospecting book for that. And I am looking forward to seeing what Sarah Harnish comes out that will be similar to this, you know, like a, a Game Plan Mini to help people know how to start their business. But I liked some of the examples that they have here. Um, Simple ways to get the conversation started with new people. Use your oils and products in public. You know, get out your citrus fresh at um, dinner. You know, Shanley's really good about that. She always has that, passes it around the table, and then people can get curious about it. I like to wear my diffuser necklace, and I've actually sold a couple of kits just by wearing my diffuser necklace and then people ask about it then I let them smell it and they go oh what is that I really like it and then I there I go off and running on selling a kit um, use your oils around your friends if they don't know you're oiling they won't ask questions you know get out your stress away and roll it on yourself and ask if they'd like to smell it <laughs> um, Sprinkle Young Living products throughout your house. You know, if, if you're having a Young Living business, it's important to have Young Living products when people come over, you know, so that they see on your counter the um, Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, the Dish Soap, the, um, well, they may not see your laundry soap unless they go into the laundry room. Um, but also the vitality oils on your kitchen counter. I've got a whole bunch of them that I sit right by my sink um, so that I have them all ready to go. And then I have, well, right now, two diffusers in the kitchen um, sitting there, and people always comment on how great my house smells. You can have room sprays in the bathroom. I, I usually make some up as well as I have the the thieves spray because the thieves spray is a good way to 
um, take care of uh, covering up any odors in the bathroom. And people will just think that you ate a lot of cloves. That's, that's what my friends tell me. <laughs> okay, that was supposed to be funny. All right. Um, fill your guest bathroom with Young Living. You know, when you're having overnight guests, um, put out some Young Living shampoo, bath gel, soaps, toothpaste, face wash, so they get that spa experience in your home. And they suggest that you put some uh, used containers over there um, and, um, you know, put the partial, partially filled ones in the guest bathroom. So any, any comments about that? Are those some things that you all have done or are there other ideas on how you've shared with your friends? I have a few suggestions. This is Nora. Uh, I always have a diffuser going in the bathroom when I have people over. So, and, um, and then the other thing too is I generally have a deep relief roll on in my purse that's open because it just seems that's been a, a strategy that's worked for me uh, many times. Plus like Shanley, I always have my, my oils in my purse and I share with the water and the tea, you know, my oils for, for that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Having samples in your purse is very helpful. And if I don't want to carry around a full bottle, you can just put the oil in a sample bottle and that will make it light and easy. Um, I bought some little round stickers that are labels that fit perfectly on the bottles at uh, Target or the office supply store. And then I know what it is because I've labeled it. I find a need and offer to give your friends something that might help. Um, you know, give them a, a stress away or some lavender, or um, I shared a sample of some sleepy eyes for a mom that can't get her kids to sleep. And you can tell them how to use it, or you can make it in a roll-on to make it really easy, write out a card explaining how and when to use it, or, you know, text them that information. Um, so, Samples. Uh, Karen Keg is the queen of samples. What I mean, you talk to people and then you send out a lot of samples in the mail, right? Yeah, I I kind of scour Facebook, and whenever somebody's posted, like uh, couldn't get my kids to sleep, uh, we we're sick, uh, all those things, and then I just private message and say, "Hey, send me your address, and I'll mail you something that might help." And I, I get signups that way sometimes. Oh, cool. um, somebody suggested like just joining groups of, you know, that of like-minded people and don't push the oils on them, but just watch. And then if somebody has a, some sort of a need expressed, then just say, Hey, I have something that might help. Do you want me to send you a sample and do that? And then, and then follow up and say, how'd that work? Mm -hmm. And yes, follow up. Very important. If you just send sample out, that's not going to. No, then follow up. And then no, I, I've gotten some signups that way. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, then get more intentional with sharing. You can host a class, a party, a launch party, a get together. Um, I really like the idea that Sarah had of calling up a few of your friends and telling them that you're just getting started and you have a script and you would like to have them give you some input on the script. I mean, that's a, a low pressure, easy way if you're new and you're scared, you know, just invite over two or three friends um, or even one and uh, read the script that Sarah Harnish gave us. It's posted in our business builder group. Okay, schedule your class. You can have your um, sponsor and or enroller help you. Um, the enroller is the one who showed you Young Living and the sponsor is the person that you're placed under. They might be the same or it might be different. You may have several people to help you. Um, and you can do, they can participate via Skype. 
Um, you can do a class at a distance with a Zoom. Um, you can even text Sarah Harnish's 101 link to someone so that they can watch it on their own. And then you can follow up. You can make your purple bag that Sarah Harnish talks about and give them a, a CD on, um, you know, in the bag that they can watch later. So lots of ways. Make a list of all the people that you know. Um, you know, pick a couple of dates and schedule a couple of classes. Sarah Harnish and Game Plan, you know, talks a lot about that. Send an invite. You can do it on Facebook. You can do it on Evite. You can mail them something in the mail. You can text message them. You can call them. Um, but, you know, contacting them and making that personal connection is really, really helpful as opposed to just a massive Facebook invite. If you're going to do that, it's really good to follow up with a call or a text. You can do it at your home or you can find, you know, a local restaurant, um, some office space, a school, a library, um, a park. If the weather is nice, you can, you know, do it at a park shelter or by a um, playground. I know Meredith had one of her classes at a park by a playground. The Grow Workspace has resources um, as well as uh, Sarah Harnish, and we, we really love Sarah Harnish and all of her resources, so we want to use her materials as much as possible because I think they're the best. All right, you can meet one-on-one. -on -one with the person. You can do a vendor event. Um, Sarah Harnish has some great instructions on how to do a vendor event. You can have an online webinar using Zoom or a, um, a Facebook Live class. Sarah Harnish tells us how to do that. Um, share a story on social media um, as long as it is compliant. And Sarah Harnish talks about how to be compliant and has if you don't have the book, you can listen to her lecture on compliance on um, her website, <clears throat> excuse me, at oilabilityteam.com. And then you go to uh, boot camp and find the class on compliance. And I guess Grow Workspace has a lesson on compliance too. And Sabrina, have you seen that? I've thumbed through all the classes, but I can't recall it off the top of my head. All the classes are really good. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Great. And it's, what, like $15 a month for, they have different levels of membership on Grow Workspace. Okay. Get social. Um, and we're almost to the end here. So try these daily, post or go live on your social media platforms, but keep in mind that you only want to have one Young Living post compared to about five personal posts. Um, reply to comments. You can send messages to Facebook friends, old or new. Um, Sarah Harnish says it's always about building the relationship first. Um, and then finding a need and helping to fill it. Um, if you're on Instagram, comment on 20 Instagram posts. Um, you know, tag five to 10 friends and post that remind you of them. You know, text 10 friends to say hi. Um, you know, schedule a lunch with a friend. Uh, host an online or home class. Uh, send out some thinking of you cards. Um, all right, I already went over lunch. Okay, so I thought that these were some really great ideas for the beginning business builder. Um, and then after they've taught a class or two, then that would be time to get them into the game plan book and workbook. which I'm just gonna to go to that website and show you. The 
is here. She has boot camp and she did a shorter version of boot camp and then a full version of boot camp. The boot camp one that she's calling it is the second edition of the game plan book and workbook. So here's all the videos and you can watch them at your own pace, take people through them. And if you want a little bit more in depth, here are longer videos. And 16, staying legal, com comprehensive FDA compliance training. Now, if you'd like a video on it, you can watch the video or you can do the book. Here's her textable class. You can text that to somebody. We have already downloaded the PowerPoint and customized it for our team. Um, Shanley is working on updating that based on Sarah Harnish's new PowerPoint. And then shop. Here we go to books. You can also get these, oops, it didn't go there. You can also get the books on Amazon. For example, well, here's the game plan book and workbook. So you can get it right here at this link. And sometimes these links don't work as well when I'm online on a Zoom meeting. It takes a little bit longer. There you go. Okay, choose an option. So you can get one set for 35. Um, or you can order it on Amazon. You'll see the updated second of edition that has 70 new pages um, right here, the book and the workbook to go with it. The workbook really helps you to apply what you learned. And I think that is a super, super strategy because it's one thing to read it, but it's one thing to start writing out some of the answers and the, you know, customizing it to yourself. Okay. Um, that's what I wanted to show you tonight. Um, anybody? Yes, I'm getting ready to wrap up. I know it's, it's past Karen's bedtime. <laughs> anybody have any questions or anything that you want to add? No, but I do want to say thank you for um, sharing growth space. I know Sabrina, oops, sorry. Sabrina shared it with me, but not online. So that was great. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks for coming. And I realized I didn't bring my calendar up here again, but I will announce um, when the next one is on the business group. And I thought to start going over some of the different classes that I have recorded. I have a, a whole lot of things that I got from convention and I have other things I subscribe to Oil Revolution Designs, and they have a lot of graphics that all I have to do is paste them into a PowerPoint and voila, instant presentation. So there's some of those that I would like to uh, create and present. Um, there's a Moms and Babies, and then there's a, um, there's one on supplements, there's oils for dudes, and, and a whole lot more. Um, Okay. Oh, Nora says, thank you. Okay. Thank you all. So if there's anything that you want to know about, um, you know, just ask and we can plan it around that. We could also have a, you know, some question and answer time. I mean, part of what we're doing here is community building um, as well as, you know, somebody presenting. So we can certainly have some of that and discuss um, your successes as well as your challenges. No, but in generally we're shooting for about every other week for just 30 minutes. This one I knew was going to go a little longer. Okay. All right. Well, Thank love you. and hugs to you all. Thanks. Thank nice you. to see you got well to see your, your names. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm in my jammies. So. Bye guys. My Good night. grandfather just showed up. So. Okay. All Thank right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night.